There's something really off about 3i Atlas. At first glance, it's just another icy traveler, a comet, moving through our solar system. But the more astronomers look, the more this object refuses to behave like anything they've seen before. It isn't just its shape, or its glow, or its path. It's everything. This object has scientists scratching their heads, asking questions they didn't expect to ask. And some of those questions have no clear answers yet. Let's break down what we know so far, because whatever 3i Atlas is, it's not normal. First, let's get something straight. 3i Atlas isn't from around here. This is an interstellar object, only the third of its kind ever observed after Oumuamua in 2017 and 2i Borisov in 2019. That means it didn't form in our solar system. It came from the deep galaxy, a rogue fragment from another star's neighborhood, passing through ours. Already, that makes it rare. But rarity isn't the weird part. It's what 3i Atlas is doing since it showed up that's making scientists uneasy. Let's talk about something you can actually see. A few weeks ago, astronomers using both amateur telescopes and high-end observatories spotted 3i Atlas glowing an eerie green in the night sky. Glowing green comets aren't unusual, typically. That comes from a molecule called diatomic carbon, or C2. When ultraviolet light from the sun hits this molecule, it fluoresces green. But here's the weird part. 3i Atlas doesn't seem to have any detectable C2. In fact, multiple telescopes, including some of the most advanced in the world, have reported that this comet is strangely deficient in carbon-based compounds that would cause that green glow. And yet, it glows brightly, unnaturally. So the obvious question is, if it's not carbon, then what's lighting it up? Right now, there's no good answer. Let's go deeper into the chemical makeup. Most comets have a relatively simple mix of substances, water, ice, dust, carbon chains, and small amounts of metal. But when scientists started breaking down the coma, that fuzzy cloud surrounding a comet's core of 3i Atlas, they found some bizarre things. The coma of this object is loaded with CO2, carbon dioxide. That's not unheard of, but the ratio is way off. There's far more CO2 than H2O, meaning this thing is exhaling carbon dioxide instead of water vapor. That's the reverse of what most comets do. And then there's the metal. Nickel in significant quantities has been detected in its atmosphere. Now, metal in comets isn't unheard of either, but the timing of this release is actually strange. Typically, metal vapors appear only when a comet gets really close to the sun, close enough for those metals to heat up and vaporize. But 3i Atlas was releasing nickel when it was still out between Mars and Jupiter. That shouldn't be happening. It's too cold out there. Unless something else is heating it up. Something internal. Something active. If you look at the motion of 3i Atlas through the solar system, it looks, well, a little too perfect. One of the strangest things about this interstellar object is how steady its path has been. Since it was discovered in early July, its speed and direction have remained incredibly consistent, almost unnaturally so. Here's why that matters. When comets get closer to the sun, they start to sublimate. Basically, the ice is turned directly into gas and shoot out of the surface. This acts like a small thruster and can nudge the comet off course ever so slightly. It's called non-gravitational acceleration. It happens to all comets, we expect it. But with 3i Atlas, it's barely happening. Compared to other known interstellar visitors, like 2i Borisov, the daily variation in motion is incredibly small. And compared to Oumuamua, which had wild swings in trajectory, 3i Atlas is cruising through space like it's on rails. It's so smooth, it almost looks intentional. Now that doesn't mean it is being guided, but it does raise questions. Why would a comet that's showing signs of chemical activity, gas release, metal vapor, a growing tail, remain so unaffected by those very processes. Every comet has a tail, or more specifically, tails. One tail is made of dust, that tends to trail behind the comet's movement. The other is made of gas, and that always points directly away from the sun, because it gets pushed by solar wind. But in early observations of 3i Atlas, scientists noticed something that didn't quite fit. A mini tail began to appear toward the sun, that's unusual. It eventually evolved into a more standard tail pointing away from the sun, but
but the early phase had a geometry that didn't quite match what they expected from solar radiation pressure. Some experts believe this might have been an illusion, an optical effect, or perhaps the early stages of outgassing in multiple directions, but others aren't so sure. Now here's where it gets even more speculative, but stick with it. Back in 1977, a radio telescope in Ohio picked up a signal from deep space. It lasted 72 seconds. No one's been able to explain it. It came from the general direction of the constellation Sagittarius and matched the frequency of neutral hydrogen, something any civilization with knowledge of the universe would likely understand. We call it the WOW signal, because that's literally what the astronomer wrote on the printout. Why does this matter now? Because when astronomers calculated the origin trajectory of 3i Atlas, where it might have come from, it also traced back to the Sagittarius region of the sky. Now this doesn't prove anything, but it opens the door to a strange possibility. Could the WOW signal and 3i Atlas be connected? Was the signal a warning, a ping, a breadcrumb? Again, no proof, but sometimes patterns appear where we least expect them. No signs of rotation. Here's another subtle oddity. Most comets spin. They tumble through space, rotating on an axis like a football spiraling through the air. And that spin often shows up in how the coma behaves, pulsations, flare-ups, flickers. But 3i Atlas is weirdly quiet. So far, no clear signs of rotation have been detected. That's not necessarily impossible. Some objects rotate slowly or at odd angles, but it makes modeling the outgassing behavior more difficult. Because if there's no rotation, how is it releasing gases so evenly? And if it is rotating and we just can't see it, what's hiding it? Why this matters more than you think. You might be wondering, what's the big deal? It's just a rock flying through space. But here's the thing, interstellar objects are precious. We don't get many of them. This is only the third one ever observed, and every single one has defied expectations. Oumuamua had a pancake shape, no visible coma, and strange acceleration. 2i Borisov looked more comet-like, but still had unusual composition. And now 3i Atlas, glowing green for no reason, releasing nickel far from the sun, barely accelerating and traveling with machine-like smoothness. Three objects, three mysteries. This isn't just about this one comet, it's about a pattern. A suggestion that the interstellar visitors were catching aren't random. What comes next? As of now, 3i Atlas is making its way through the inner solar system. Depending on its path and how it reacts near the sun, we might get more data, or we might lose sight of it completely. There's a chance it will swing around the sun and slingshot away, never to be seen again. Or it could slow down, linger, change course. Probably not, but with this object, nothing is off the table. Space agencies around the world, NASA, ESA, and independent observatories are watching closely. Spectroscopy, infrared analysis, and tracking software are all being used to monitor changes. And if anything dramatic happens, a tail disruption, a sudden acceleration, a change in direction, it'll make headlines. Because the more we look, the more we realize. Something weird really is happening with 3i Atlas. So, what's next? We might never know what 3i Atlas really is. Maybe it's just a comet. A bizarre one, sure, but natural. Or maybe it's something more. Something that doesn't fit into the categories we've built. And that's okay. Because part of exploring the universe is accepting mystery. Staying open to the unknown. 3i Atlas might not be an alien probe, but it's definitely a reminder that we are not done learning. Not even close. And sometimes, the cosmos sends us a message, not in words, but in the form of a strange object drifting silently past our home star. It's up to us to listen.